My CPA says $650,000 isn't even close to enough to retire. Help! <sighs> it's an email I received from a very nice lady. Uh, she says, I'm glad this is, I'm not sure where she's from. I think New Jersey. I think it's from Karen from New Jersey. Josh, I'm so glad to see you giving examples that you can live on two or three hundred thousand dollars in a portfolio in which to retire. I literally asked my New Jersey CPA several years ago if my six hundred fifty thousand IRA was a good amount. He said, "No, not really," and made a face like I was asking a dumb question. Then he said, "Well, it's not that bad, but it's still really not enough." Yeah. The sad thing is, I know he's wrong, but it still irritates me that he put me down. He put me down by saying it wasn't good at all. Man, that was harsh. I'm still trying to get over it. I doubt he even has that much money. I was really bummed at the time. He doesn't know what my expenses are, and he really should never have said that. Karen is hitting on the head. If they don't know what your expenses are, screw them. I, I mean, literally, I have no, there's nothing. If they don't know what your expenses are, screw them. I, I just, you cannot, you cannot build a financial plan without knowing the expenses. Man, it is green. Look at this. I'm going to show you the outside. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Do you see that green? Oh man, freaking gorgeous. Look at that, it's a beautiful day here in Georgia. A little bit on the chilly side, it's windy, look at that. It's not a cold ball wind, but a sky, but like, look at that, Eat. look at that. Jeez, man, that's just gorgeous. I would be doing this outside, except for the fact that, uh, there's Betsy, um, except for the fact that uh, it's, it's windy and it's chilly out. <laughs> anyway, so uh, Karen, don't don't sweat it. You're gonna be fine. I mean, look, you're gonna be fine, assuming that your expenses are moderate to low. I don't know. I mean, I would say just from pure ballparkish, and I guess, oh, you're saying, you know, against what you just said. Well, let's just say you have six hundred fifty thousand bucks. We take five percent a year off that. Point oh five. That's thirty two thousand five hundred a year. Say you're making fifty thousand on average of Social Security. That's about eighteen hundred a year. A month, excuse me, 1850 times 12 uh, is 22,000 plus a 35,000 we just talked about. Did I say 35 or 32,000? Uh, 22 plus 32 is what I said. That's uh, oops, 22 plus 32. That's 54,000 right there. Uh, how much of that would be taxed? I, I don't know. I have to look and it wouldn't be much. Uh, I, off the top of my head, I can't. Well, I'll tell you what, let's think of this out. <laughs> I'm interested. 54,000 of which. 22,000 is social security. So 22 is social security. That's 11,000 provisional, uh, 11,000 goes towards your provisional income, like my horns. Um, and then we got, uh, what do I say? 32,000 from IRA. And I can't tell if, Mar if she is married. I'm going to say she's single. I don't know. $43,000. So $43,000 is your provisional income. Again, how much of that is, sub is going to be subject to taxation? Your social security. Well, we know the first 20, five none uh so you know 25 to 34 is 9,000, and 34 above is 85 percent so we take 43,000. we know the first 25,000. none of that's subject to, to income tax the next 9,4500 that will be and then the next we got uh, 9,000. so 43,000 minus 34,000 is 9,000 times 0.85. So 43 is 9 times 0.85, 7650. All right, so 7650 and 4,500 plus 4,500. So we know 7650 plus 4,500, 12,000 of your Social Security will be subject to income tax. Twelve thousand one hundred fifty of your Social Security will be subject to income tax, plus the thirty-two thousand um, dollars you had in uh, in IRA distributions. Assuming it's all well, you did say it's all from an IRA. So we got that be forty-four thousand one hundred fifty dollars will be your taxable income. If you're single, we'll say thirteen six is your standard deduction. I, uh, let's see, forty-four thousand uh, one fifty minus thirteen thousand six hundred. Not top of my head, I can't. I don't know how old she is. That means your taxable income is thirty thousand five hundred fifty. So you can have thirty thousand five hundred fifty in taxes. I think the first ten thousand at this ten percent. I don't have my little tax chart. So the first ten thousand will be subject to ten percent taxes. The next, uh, yeah, and then the next amount will be subject to uh, to twelve percent. So twenty thousand will be subject to twelve percent. 
20 times 0.12. Uh, 2400 would be your taxes on the next amount, and then uh, 10000 So roughly $3,400 of income tax. So you'd be making $54,000 of total tax, of total income, of which $3,400 would be subject to tax. Most states do not have any taxes on that at all. Uh, so even after tax, you're going to be netting uh, $51,600. I mean, that's... Uh, that's, I mean, that's, you can live off that, I presume. I mean, you can live off that without even blinking an eye. Without even blinking an eye. I mean, it's just no big deal. So, now I don't, so let's just say you need $4,000 a month to live on. Well, you got it. Without even blinking an eye. You don't need to do an annuity. We don't need to do anything fancy, schmancy, social security planning. And I got to tell you, if you got 650000 in your 401k, you probably did better than 50000 a year in income. No, I don't know. I'm just using that for a number. It might not be, but... Man, you gotta stop sweating this. Uh, not you, Karen, but just I, I you. Well, actually, yeah, you too, because you said I was really. I'm looking at the notes. That was real harsh. I'm still trying to get over it, the way the CPA. It's like no bedside manners. These guys, I and mean, it drives me up the wall. I mean, six hundred fifty thousand bucks, man. That is, you are doing much better than the vast majority of Americans. And because of that, the idea you walked out of the office thinking that you'd no way you're gonna be able to retire. I'll never forget. I had this. Uh, my first client, since I took on my one on my own, uh, he was a doctor in, uh, I forgot what, what kind of doc, teaching doctor, I can't remember. But anyway, and she, uh, she worked part time. I think they had like a million and a half dollars and they had a house paid for. I can't remember the whole story, but uh, they were making money. Uh, nice folks, nice, liberal, but nice. And so that's what I'm saying. Liberals can get along with conservatives. I, again, I'm not even a conservative. I'm a libertarian, but still, at the end of the day, uh, it's not a false dichotomy where political disagreements clash. You can still agree to be humane and interest and, uh, and kind to other people, even if you don't agree politically. You got to get over this Facebook propaganda stuff. But anyway, uh, so in this case, they, uh, we, it was a, a nice folks, without question. And they, uh, they were, I think she said she thought she was told by, Someone at USAA, they needed $6 million to retire on. And they had like 1.3. I can't remember the whole story. But I just remember it's like, it's freaking nuts, man. I, it just, it was, it was nuts. And it, it actually ticked me, it still ticks me off. How many financial advisors, how many CPAs are leaving people out in the, the just in the cold like Karen here with $650,000. And they're like, I can never retire. And she goes, it took me a long time to get over it. I just, I was really bummed out. It, that's just, that's, it's ignorance. Is ignorance, but the problem with ignorance is one thing to be ignorant because when you're ignorant it means you just don't know. Uh, if you don't know, it's okay to say, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you're gonna be okay until I know your expenses. But for someone to sit there and say you don't have enough, I, man, like I said at the beginning, screw that. All right, I hope this helps, Karen. You're doing just fine. See ya.